Good evening to all dear students of SIIT Engineering College EX Department. I am Devin Tiwari. Again, presenting you my YouTube video for you. I am just sharing my screen. It will be easier. Yes, I have shared my screen. I think I hope you have uh, able to see the screen. Today we will understand the working of linear variable differential transformer. What is this terms means and what is what is the working? What is its construction? So move to, move to the next slide. So first of all, we will see definition of linear variable differential transformer. I'm moving to the next slide. So this term LVT stands for linear variable differential transformer, as you all know. It is the most widely used inductive transducer that converts a linear motion into the electrical signal. All of us know what is transducer. Transducer is a device which will convert non-electrical quantity into electrical quantity and this non-electrical quantity should be a physical phenomenon. So the output across secondary of this transformer is the differential. Thus it is called so. That means it is differential transformer. It's very accurate inductive transducer as compared to other inductive transducers. Move to the next slides. Regarding its construction, so this, this transformer consists of primary winding P and two secondary windings S1 and S2 bound on a cylindrical former, which is hollow in nature and contains the food. Both the secondary, what does it mean? It will consist of only one primary winding P and there will be two secondary windings, S1 and S2. And this secondary winding should have identical number of turns. So both the secondary windings have equal number of turns and we place them on either side of primary winding. The primary winding is connected to an AC source which produces a flux in the air gap and voltage are induced in the secondary windings. And a movable soft iron core is placed inside the former and displacement to be measured is connected to the iron core. The iron core is generally of high permeability, which helps in reducing harmonics and high sensitivity of LVDT. So this LVDT is placed inside a stainless steel housing because it will provide electrostatic and electromagnetic shield. Both the secondary windings are connected in such a way that Resulted output is the difference between the voltage of two lines. Move to the next slide. It's working, or we can say principle of operation. So this is the figure of diagram of circuit diagram of linear variable differential transform. So as we look, as we are able to see in the left side, this is the primary winding, and this on the right side, these are the two secondary windings which have equal number of turns and these two the endpoints of these two secondary windings are connected differentially so that we will get differential output so as the primary is connected to an ac source we will apply ac source to this uh, primary side so alternating current and voltage are produced in the secondary of lvt the output in secondary S1. Suppose we have, we have taken two secondary windings as S1 and S2. So in S1 secondary winding output is suppose E1 and the secondary winding S2 is E2. So differential output will be E output which will be equal to the difference of these two voltages. That means E1 minus E2. This equation explain the principle of operation of LVDT. Next slides. So there are three possible cases that arises according to the location of core, which explains the working of LVTT, which are discussed here. Case first, when the core is at null position, that means in the middle position, which is equally distributed, yeah, equally not distributed, equally placed on either side of two secondary windings. So the first case, when the core is at null position, that means there is no displacement. When the core is at null position, then the flux linking with both the secondary windings is equal. 
So induced MF is equal in both the windings. So for no displacement, the value of output e output would be zero because E1 and E2 both are equal. So it shows there is no displacement to this. Case two, when the core is moved to upward of null position, that means we have moved to some other side, upward of null position, for displacement to be to the upward of reference point. In this case, the flux linking with secondary winding S1 is more now as compared to flux linking with S2. What is means? Now flux linking S1 is more and flux linking with S2 is less. Due to this, E1 will be more and E2 will be less. Therefore, differential output voltage E out will be positive, which will be E1 minus E2 because E1 is more. Case 3, when the core is moved to the downward of null position for displacement to the downward of the reference point, in this case, magnitude of E2 will be more so that as compared to E1. In this condition, this is the vice versa case of the case 2. Now here, magnitude of E2 is more and E1 is less. Due to this, E out will be negative and shows the output to the downward of the reference point. Move to next slide. So, hence, with this graph, we can see this working of this LVAT output versus core displacement. So, a linear curve shows that output voltage varies linearly with displacement of core. As we displace the core, boom, the, we will got output to be very as linear. Here we can see, observe in this case. So, this is the case of, sorry. So in this uh, in this diagram in this picture we can clearly observe movement is from null position to left side to right side we will see the linear rise of output voltage. So this is the this is all about the working of linear variable differential transformer. Many more uh, points and many more other things are also left, but for uh, this lecture, this is because this is concerning only with the working of linear variable differential transformer, we have come to the this outcome that's output versus core displacement linear curve is observed. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you again. Okay.